Okay, we're on our way to Allen Creek, and it's close to Columbus, Ohio. And uh, as you can see outside the window here, it is snowing. So it will be a winter camping trip a little bit. It is supposed to warm up over the next couple of days, but my wife and I and Blucy are really looking in, looking forward to this trip. So when we get there, we'll let you guys see what it looks like. Stay tuned. All right, well, we got a late start. We got about 45 minutes left yet. So it is now 6.40 and there's an accident up ahead. So we are stuck in traffic. So it's gonna make us even later. Okay, this is the main road, Africa Road, into the Alum Creek State Park. And we're arriving in, in the darkness. Yeah, it is pretty dark. Always weird driving with a camper, man. Extra cautious. I guess that's a good thing, though. So if you ever want to know what Jerry feels like driving a camper, watch the movie The Long Long Trailer with Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Yeah, that's a good comparison. <laughs> Check it out. Maybe he can link it to the description. There's water behind there. Take the next right onto Cheshire Road. Okay, so darkness is water. You can't see it from the light. All right, well, it's morning, and we did make it here safely, got everything set up, and right now we are starting to brew some coffee to get the, you know, to get going here, and uh, then we're going to start showing you guys some of the area. Uh, there's some trails. Hopefully today we'll get to do a trail, and, uh, you know, probably get some breakfast going, and of course, need to gather firewood for tonight. All right, the morning coffee is done, and it came out great. Uh... Let's see, what brand did I use? I ended up using Starbucks uh, Cafe Verona. My mother-in-law gave me this for um, for Christmas. And uh, it's the whole bean, so we ground the beans so it's fresh. But uh, yeah, it tastes really good. I actually like this. It's dark roast, which is one of my favorite types of roast from Starbucks. Alright, so Ali and I decided to go to the Waffle House this morning, and uh, we're looking forward to a good breakfast, and let me show you some of the menus. Most people probably have been here now, but not too bad, it's relatively nice. Okay, so this is what I got. Over medium eggs, wheat toast, and grits. Mmm, for crunchy hash browns. Yep, and my waffles are still coming. Oh yeah. Okay, here's the rest of it. Got the waffles, got bacon. And of course, a nice 50s song in the background that I picked. I only have eyes for you. Me. Which is this girl right here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at Alum Creek State Park and this is the marina. We're uh, going to check out to see if it's open. Or most of the boats are uh, of course put away because we are in February. But uh, the building is really pretty and this looks like an awesome place to do some boating. 
I want to do that later this year. Lake is huge. Well, it is closed, of course, for the season, as Ollie said earlier. But here's some of the uh, dock stuff, docking area. I just can't believe how much water is here. I mean, it's a nice, it is very large. Let's take a photo. Okay, I'm coming. So Ollie and I are going to walk out to the end of this. Pretty cool they let you do that. All right, so here we are. We made it to the end of the little path here. We're at the edge with the water. And boy, let me tell you, that wind today is crazy cold. It cuts right through the clothing, man. So this is Allen Creek Dam. And uh, we're taking this trail today. And it looks like a pretty cool trail. Where you got Bluesy with us. And Ollie and me, and uh, we're going to let you see some, some stuff once we get up a little closer. And let me tell you, it is freezing out here today. I mean cold. Look at how Ollie's dressed. Whew. All right, here we are at the dam. And pretty cool. And we still got the steps to go up here yet. Come on, Blue. Good girl. What do you think, Ollie? Hard or easy? Hard or easy? Well, for me, it's kind of hard because I feel like my leg is going to fall off. My knee hurts. Okay, here we are at the top. Really cool. Here's the trail around. We're gonna go around this way. Go Here's way. where we came. All right, well, I just got done taking a shower at the shower house. Uh, everything was great. Water was warm and it, it warmed up pretty quick and everything and it's been cold outside. Um, so next what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go back to the camper. Ollie and I are gonna watch some more movies uh, and then uh, probably go to sleep after that. All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, well, it's like around 10 o'clock and uh, we're getting a little later start today. We were kind of tired. But uh, I went and had to get some uh, fire uh, lighter fluid today, so I grabbed that in, this morning. That way we can make a fire. We're going to try to cook over the uh, fire pit today. It's a little warmer day, not as much wind as it was yesterday. So got my cup of coffee, and it looks like a really nice day. A little overcast right now, but it looks like it's starting to clear up. Actually, well, yeah. All right, so let's get going on this fire. Hopefully I can get a blazing fire for my wife to cook on. All right, here it is. We've got the fire going and it's starting to get going pretty good. Oh, this, or we're gonna lose 
we're gonna cook up all the bacon and then just put the rest in the container for tomorrow. All right, here's our completed meal. Just Eggs, toast, and bacon. Yeah, for whatever reason, the bacon, I don't know, we were we were just saying it just took a while to cook and it kind of came out interesting. I think it was the type of bacon we got. So, there's Bluesy, ready for her stuff. <laughs> got orange juice, got some coffee. Yeah. All right, so Ollie and I got two new stickers we're gonna put on the camper. And what all we did was literally, we took a white cloth or a damp cloth and wiped it down. You know, that way they'll stick really good. Made sure we dried it off. So the camper has officially been to five different parks. Now a couple parks we have gone to a couple different times, but what's kind of cool is we're adding Yeah, I think that's good right there. Perfect. Nineteen seventy six, the year she was born. <laughs> yeah, let's go through what we got here. So we got Mosquito Lake, Deep Creek Lake, Maryland, Mount Gilead State Park. Mohican State Park and Alum Creek State Park, Delaware, Ohio. Cool. Ollie and I are going to go on this hike here. As you see, we are starting at location A. And uh, there is a mile loop if we get off at B. Uh, we might do the north loop. We'll see. 2.2 south loop is 3.6 now we might do the, the south loop it's 3.6 we'll see how the trail goes yeah so, i wanted to do the so you feeling it babe yeah but i don't know if i should wear this or not well you can always take it off and wrap it around your waist like the old days and of course today i did remember my trekking poles and water so we are about to begin this trail all right we're into the trail a little bit here and our first obstacle, of course, it being cold in February, which we're, we know it's not is that cold right now. It's not so cold now, but yeah, the mud. Ugh. As you can see, I'm gonna flip this around. It's muddy all the way. And, and as I've said in my past videos, it's always good to have waterproof shoes if you're gonna be doing this in fall or winter time, even early spring or after a good rain. Whoa. But the trail's nice, other than that. And again, my trekking poles help. I need to get Ollie some. I think it would help her too. We're at our first marker location, which is F. And we're gonna go over to B though, and continue on that way. Here's where we're at on the trail so far. We're making it, Ollie's waving. And uh, we'll show you when we get to the next marker. Just so you know, some of the trails are not very clearly marked. I mean, yeah, they do have those little markers here and there, but I think there's a spot where we hit like a Y and uh, we weren't sure which way to go. We actually used the Detour app that's made for the uh, Ohio State Parks trails and that helped out a lot. So you may want to download that to help you out on future trails and stuff. What are you gonna do? Ooh, don't get hit no thorn bushes. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's quite muddy here. <laughs> Keep on trekking. Way to go, Ollie. Tell us about this next hazard we came in contact with. Nope. There's an obstacle. Take a look. Yeah. Obviously something fell down and they left it here to make it more natural for us. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we didn't make it to marker C. Show us where we're at here, Ollie. Right here. 
right there okay so we still had to go all the way to d and then down back to f or actually so back down to a 0.2 miles and then from d to e is a mile and then from e to f 0.9 okay see that's what that means Bad. Now we have more energy! Water! Yes, we see the lake up there. Thank goodness. That actually kind of does make you strive to go the rest of the trail. <laughs> we should have brought some kind of like trail mix or something. Because we're both kind of feeling it a little bit. But we're going to make it. Alright, so we made it to marker D. Um, right over here is the lake. As you can see it through the trees. And I believe this is the path back. And there's a little bench. So, yeah, I think I'm going to take advantage of it. Okay. We're going on a hiking spree. We're going on a hiking spree. Can't go under it. Can't go over it. Can't go around it. Gotta go through it. All right, got a vine and uh, some more water. We'll see if Ollie's gonna swing on it. I doubt it, no, I'm just kidding. So this is kind of a cool find off the trail, like a little beach area. Goes down there, very windy again today. And uh, unfortunately, people have trashed it up a little bit too. There's some junk all around and stuff. There's some shells. And then actually it looks like somebody here either stayed the night and made like themselves a little fire pit, you know, to sleep out here. I don't know. But uh, here's some of the shells. All right, another obstacle we ran across on the trail. Ollie's going to show us how to do it. <laughs> Just make sure you don't fall. Way to go, babe. Alright, so we made it to location E so far. Still have over a mile to go. Oh, it's been tough with all this mud. Finally made it back to marker F. We still got to make it to A, which thankfully is only another three tenths of a mile. And as you see, Ollie is tuckering out as well. We were not in shape for this, especially for the mud. I'm so happy that it's almost over. Advil, here we come. The end is near here. This is great. I actually see the parking lot. We are really tired. And my advice to you, if you walk this trail, make sure you take, we did take water, but I think we both should have took two bottles of water a piece. We just took one thinking that we'd be fine. Um, and take, again, take some kind of snack along for energy. Because if it's muddy like this, it's a tough trail. All right, if we made it. And uh, like Ollie said, I cut the film there, or I cut the camera before she was done talking. We are, her and I are a little out of shape on doing the, this. It's been a little while since we trekked something this far, but it was 3.6 miles through thick mud and the wind blowing. That's why I got this thing. It was like, there was times it was actually pretty cold by the, by the lake. And then there were times where you were hot. So if you do this during the winter time, be prepared for that. And then, uh, you know, it's just nice to be done. All right, guys. All right, so Ollie and I decided to try this place. It was Ollie's idea, Cheshire Market. And uh, they do pizzas and subs. And then, of course, they do have like a market there. And uh, we think it's going to be pretty good. All right, actually, it does look really good. Kind of anxious to try it. Pepperonis could be a little better over here, but hey, all right, we'll try, give it a try. More of a hometown type pizza. We'll let you know how it is. Bluesy wants to try it too. All right, we're watching MacGyver. And Bluesy's watching too.
morning everyone I uh, got up around uh, around 8 uh, today and first thing I did is I I'm gonna I made some coffee and I'm gonna get my uh, fire going here and uh, starting it up some little twigs and then of course I got I had bought some firewood here at the campsite and used my little uh, wood splitter to cut up some of the wood and then get the fire going that way Ollie can make breakfast all right well I'll I'll show you that once we get that far thought I'd show you guys how this thing splits wood so you get like a piece in there you know of course you don't want to make it bigger than that o-ring there and I got it like a four four pound mallet a friend of mine had loaned me one of these before and it's great for making kindling and stuff like that splitting logs so you just kind of hammer it down and there it goes it splits and then you can split as many times as you want actually these things are really great and then you ain't got to worry about and then you don't have to worry about uh chopping your leg off with an axe not that uh i don't use an axe from time to time but this is nice for this kind of stuff all right got the fire going pretty good i'm just waiting for our cook to appear because i am definitely not the greatest cook i mean i can cook okay but ollie does a much better job than i do so when she gets here we'll film some of that and we'll get back to you well guys <laughs> I forgot to record breakfast, but uh, we did have a good breakfast. We had eggs and toast and orange juice and coffee, of course. And uh, But what I will try to do is get some of the cleanup part when Ollie does the dishes and stuff. Uh, again, since we have the camper winterized, um, we are using our portable sink, which is really nice. We usually just boil some water over the fire, throw that into the, the sink, and mix it with a little bit of cold water that way it kind of evens out like it's more like a, a very hot water to clean with and then uh, you know and then she of course washes the dishes and everything and then I help her dry them and all that and then we get, get things packed up and today unfortunately is our final day sad to leave but uh, we'll have more adventures in the future uh, so I'm gonna try to Maybe I can get some footage of me cleaning up the camper and stuff like that, and then uh, show you guys kind of my procedure for doing that. I do know that we're going to try to go hiking if we find a good place one more last time, and then uh, we're probably going to hit a local restaurant for lunch, which would be the Der Dutchman, and that's really good. Anybody who visits in Ohio, there's like three different locations, I believe, and it's really nice. All right, so I put the bed back. And of course we've got our dirty laundry basket here so that we take that out of the camper and then of course I always sweep and I'm gonna mop just that way everything's kind of prepared after we get home and uh, try to get everything out get everything cleaned up and get it ready for the next trip hopefully you know that won't be too far from now but anyway, that's kind of it. I mean, look how much dirt. I mean, we actually had more than that. I swept more of it out. But that's just from, you know, you can't help it. Even though you wipe your feet and all that when you're hiking the trails and all that. It was just a muddy day the last couple of days when her and I were going around and did our best. But, uh, you know, and then the doggy, of course. But I, I like to clean everything up, wipe it down, get it home. And then, of course, before we go camping again, I clean it out again just to make sure everything's, like, perfect. It helps in the long run. So as I told you guys before, I kind of keep some stuff in here by the wheel well here. Uh, I keep my inflator and an extension cord for the inflator, you know, to make sure I got stuff for the trailer tires. Those are good things to think about when you're, uh, you know, uh, going camping because that way you keep your tires always inflated. I also keep this little mini duster in there, vacuum. And what's cool, since this thing has a 12 volt hookup I can just plug this thing in here and then after I'm done sweeping I go around and vacuum so nice I want to show you guys how to access this wheel wheel uh, area storage area maybe not everybody knows this and I can't remember if I put it in one of my previous videos but what's kind of cool about it even though you have the the uh, the couch down and in place you can be sitting on it if you lift it from the, the corner by the by your uh, little countertop 
you can access it and it will come out without it being stuck. You don't, don't have to actually lift out the bench. And then of course, see that's where we got our hammocks and I do put like our power cord in there. And then also, what else do I keep in there? Oh, I keep like a level in there, a small little level. That way I can check and make sure that the camper is level when we come to our campsite. Nice little thing I picked up at Harbor Freight and it works for whatever I need. I just go around and check things and, and it works. But I don't know, I really like these little areas. So you guys can let me know what you think, but a lot of cool storage in the A-liner. Today is our final day, as I said earlier, and we are about to leave. I got everything packed up, so we're gonna head out. And uh, tune in next time, make sure that you guys like and subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified when a new video comes out. And as always, tune in next time. We'll see you. Say bye, Blue. Bye, Blue.